Now, a United Nations Conference on Trade and Development uh, report suggests that African migration can contribute to economic growth right across the continent, but only if it's well managed. Now, the report is entitled Migration for Structural Transformation, and the data in there shows there's a lot more intra-African trade taking place than a lot of us tend to assume. That, however, is in pretty sharp contrast to the narrative that a lot of Africans are just leaving the continent en masse in search of a better life in Europe. Here's CGTN's Koleta Anjohi with more. In 2017, 19 million international migrants moved within Africa and 17 million Africans left the continent, according to the UN research. The report on migration launched by the UNCTAD in Addis Ababa provides a new narrative to counter the idea that African migration is a burden. The report is timely to inform a more positive conversation about the migration issue. After time when the stories have been dominated by involuntary migration, human trafficking, the tragedies of the Mediterranean, it is useful to bring them to the sense that there is a more positive narrative possible and there are sustainable models of migration. The report suggests that intra-African migration contributes to development with 85% of migrants' earnings remaining in their host countries and the rest being sent home. The research also shows that Africa is rising quickly as a destination for other nationalities from Europe, China and Asia. Although our statistics uh, are, are not uh, com complete, we estimate that in 2017, 5.5 million people came into Africa to fill some of these skills gaps that we're seeing in Africa. So it clearly shows that there's economic rise in Africa and that there is need for certain skills. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa says Africa has long lacked data on migration. This has made it hard for the continent to confidently discuss migration issues in the global arena. One of the other numbers that we know for sure is that in the year 2000, of the total migration in the world, we had 3%, Africa contributed 3%. In 2017, Africa contributed 2.7%, which actually means that Africa's share in global migration is actually dropping. The report urges more African states to help manage legal migration through the signing of the African Union Protocol on Free Movement of Persons, which has so far been signed by 20 countries only. The adoption of a global compact for safe, orderly and regular migration is expected to happen in Morocco in December. As Africa moves to the negotiations expected to be completed in July, it will use the facts in this report to move with one voice that African migrants are not a burden. Koleta Njohi, CGTN, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.